Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my entire crystal collection. I have all of my crystals sitting in the table. Whoa. Sitting on the table behind me. But I'm just going to be showing you my whole collection and name what crystal it is. But yeah, let's just get on to my crystal collection. I'm going to start with this little setup I have going on. This little plate with seven different crystals that represent each chakra. And I have this beautiful selenite tower and i have this in the middle to charge all these now they're all messed up i have these all like sitting in the plate because they're always like charging and purified and they're tiny so i can literally just grab one of these put them in my pocket and go about my day so i'm going to show you what each of them are first of all i have a little tumbled clear quartz it's really tiny but i use a lot of clear quartz and you're going to see more of it throughout this video then i have amethyst i really like the shape of this i don't know why it's kind of in like a triangle which is kind of cool i don't know then i have sodalite i love the size of this one and it's so pretty i actually got some of these in my like crystal haul that i did a while ago then i have rose quartz which i have so much more rose quartz that i'm gonna show you guys but i love rose quartz it's kind of like a cloudy pink but yeah i am always using rose quartz next i have citrine Citrine is such a beautiful stone. The way it's like shimmery. Oh my gosh, I wear my Citrine Point necklace. Not this is this is clear quartz, but I wear my Citrine Point necklace like all the time. Last two stones on this are carnelian and red jasper. Very pretty. Since I showed you my selenite tower, I'm gonna move on to my selenite stick. It's pretty tiny, but I love this so much. Selenite is one of my favorite crystals. I love this one because you can just put a stone on top of it. Like obviously it has to be a tiny one, but. I also have another selenite tower that I keep on my nightstand. I'll insert a clip, but this is what kind of my nightstand crystal setup looks like. I like having selenite in all corners of my room. Next, I'm gonna show you guys all my amethyst. So I have this one. This is such a pretty stone, you guys. Yeah, this is my biggest chunk of amethyst. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the small ones. So I showed you the tumbled one earlier. I also have this raw one that I carry in my pocket very often as well. I also have these two, but I'm not 100% sure if they're amethyst. They kind of look like glass, but I've had these for a while, so. Then I have all of these, which I'm not sure if these are all amethyst because these are also ones that I've, again, had for a while, but they are very pretty. Like, look at this one. Now I'm going to show you guys some clear quartz. This is my biggest chunk of clear quartz that I have all the points on it are so pretty like look at that this is so beautiful and i love clear quartz because it just has such a like purifying energy i also have a tinier version of the same one that i just showed you and another one that's in this necklace that i actually made so if you guys want a like crystal necklace tutorial on how i make them i will definitely show you guys one this is what my necklace looks like for reference and then the last piece of clear quartz i have is just this raw one but yeah this one is so pretty it almost looks like ice i think that's why i like clear quartz because it's like ice i also forgot to show you guys this purple one uh, again i'm not really sure what this one is it could be amethyst okay and then i also have these two glimmery stones so first of all peacock ore which is such a fascinating crystal and then i have pyrite or pyrite i think it's pyrite also known as fool's gold now i'm going to show you my fluorite so first of all i have a very big can we focus can we focus raw one um i'm just gonna like turn it around i showed you guys this in my last video i actually think because it's brand new i'm just gonna like kind of do a little 360 but this crystal is so beautiful and i also have a very small version of it i have a tiny tumbled fluorite heart i love this one very much and i actually got it crystal shopping with my friends kind of going along with the heart theme i'm gonna show you guys my tiger's eye because i have a tiger's eye heart and two more tumbled tiger's eye stones that just look like this um i also put these in my pocket very frequently next i have this beautiful midnight goldstone crystal the way it shimmers oh my gosh and then i also just have i guess like a regular goldstone also very pretty and shimmery next i'm going to show you more of my rose quartz which 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I love rose quartz. I'm obsessed with rose quartz. Here's my biggest one. It is just this raw rose quartz. And then here's two smaller versions. So I think this one is tumbled. And then I have this raw one, which I actually kind of want to make a necklace out of. And then going along with that, I also have a jar, very pretty. I'll show you guys the rest of my little jars at the end of the video, but now moving on, I have this crystal. It is called Appetite. I think that's how you say it. It is a gorgeous like deep blue color and I love it a lot. Next, I've got some Adventurine. Green Adventurine tumbled stone that just looks like this. And then I have some raw Adventurine. So I have this very big one. Well, not like that big, but like this one. And then a slightly tinier one, this one. It's like flat. Next, I'm going to show you my other carnelian. So it's a little different because it's a raw one. I actually really like raw crystals though. I also have a raw red jasper. Here it is. Next, I have tourmaline. She's a thicky. Love this one very much. Then going along with kind of the black color theme, I have these three crystals. I'm not sure what they are though, but I have these three. And then I also have some smaller shards of obsidian. The other obsidian I have is snowflake obsidian. This crystal is so pretty. I love all the little speckles. Okay, and then here is the last citrine I have. It is like a citrine point. The yellow is so beautiful. I love citrine. It's definitely like one of my favorite crystals. And then I do have yellow calcite. This one is also very pretty. Like I just love the yellow color, very sunshiny. Those are all of my regular sized crystals, but I also have some smaller jars. And I already showed you guys the rose quartz, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the rest. I have amethyst, garnet, peridot, of course, some tiger's eye. And then last but not least, onx, onyx, onx. I'm gonna say onx. Here it is. And then I do have citrine and adventurine shards on my nightstand, like I said earlier. So yeah, those are all the crystals that I have at the moment. Um, I might do an updated crystal tour, crystal collection in like a year, we'll see. If you have any questions, then just go ahead and let me know down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Comment down below some of your favorite crystals. I would love to have conversations with you guys. Anyways, bye.